What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Junks, Lager yeah, Side! Hell yeah! Oui. I don't for you. I appreciate you, buddy. How how is life? How have you been? Oh, very good. We've just been uh, having a great Christmas season, really. Drinking, eating, chilling. It's been Hell. very nice. Is Christmas celebrated different over there versus how you see us celebrating in the States? Well, we don't have a white Christmas, I suppose. Oh, yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's a sunny yeah. Christmas. So it's a sunny Christmas. So we, we normally get the thongs and go swimming, do barbecues Hell outside. Yeah. So awesome. it was so hot, actually. I was melting my ass off. Dude, Just I, sitting out having like a breakfast, I, hiding from the sun. That's <laughs> awesome. I noticed that "Rock This Ship" is the only single that you guys put out this year, and I do that song's fantastic. I do want to talk about that, but I know it's been a while since you guys have dropped an album. So, to tell me what's been cooking as far as music goes. We have actually got so many songs, and we're like really deep in the album for writing process. We've done a kind of like a tester song that we're gearing up and working towards releasing at the moment. That's sounding awesome. Done a film clip for it as well. Um, but we actually, we're at that stage now, like for the first time ever, we've written way more songs than you can put on an album. Um, so we're kind of like playing with them, carving them down, trying to make the very best versions of those songs and taking our time with it to just really get something that we're super proud of. Hell yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I know it's going to be worth the wait. And I, I long for the day that I can see the show live because I've watched so much footage and it just looks like an absolute blast. Like you guys love what you do. I can't wait to come to the States. It's going to be epic. Hell yeah. Dude, do you remember uh, last time we had you on? It, was, it had to have been like two years ago when we, when we first I chatted. I think so, yeah. And, and you introduced me to what a shoey is. And then uh, I I do either a shoey or a thongy almost almost freak like every single day on the show. We do the show five times a week. <laughs> I don't know what you have going on the rest of the day, but would it be would it be wrong for me to ask to partake once with you in a shoey? I've, I've got a beer in the fridge actually. Let me go grab it. Okay, Let's do and, it. and then I have a before you go. I do have a couple of questions from some fans that uh, uh, specifically one who requested that we get you back on the show regarding shoe so i'll let you i'll let you go grab that real quick yeah but get, i'll get the tools okay cool hell yeah <laughs> yes we just got a raid by the way by go keep gokachu 9000 gokachu 9000 dude thank you so much we're we're we just started an interview it's a follow-up interview so it'll only be like 15 minutes but i appreciate you i saw we did give you a shout out thank you so much for that it's very very cool merry christmas happy holidays appreciate it but this is going to be a little bit of a booze a boozy style interview and uh, it should be fun. So while we wait for him, so we're talking to the band called Logger Sign. They're a pirate based band out of Australia. I encourage you to please if look up Logger Sign. If you, if you love just rowdiness, they're probably the band for you. what you got? What'd you grab? I got legendary Queensland beer, Forex Gold. Anyone in the chat had one before? It's delicious. We call them mangoes here. Three X's wasn't enough. Four X gold. Four X gold. Oh, okay, hell yeah. okay, cool. Hell yeah. Um, so let's do a shoey and then I have a couple of shoey questions in particular uh, for my buddy Aaron who requested that we get you back on because we showed him your band a while back and he was like, I need to see you talk to Junks. And by the way, how's the captain? Uh, he's, he's good. Looking strong. Hell yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Strong captain. What are you drinking? I just have a, a Coors Light, no X's. Respect. Yeah. No che X's. Cheers, brother. Right. Let's get it. And I got I got the thongy version as I realized that after so many normal shoeies, my shoe was no good anymore. That's so. living dangerously. <laughs> Hell yeah. Cheers, brother. Right. Cheers to you. Hell yeah. That's how we do it. Yeah! Couple of questions while you're pounding that. Has there ever been a big act, like a big act at like an Aussie festival that you convinced to do a shoey with you that you didn't see coming? Oh, let's have a think. There have been a lot of shoeys 
So, you know, I feel like the musicians, they're shyer. I'm thinking more hundreds and hundreds of fans that have done the shoeys with. Um, but, you know, we were just on tour with, uh, with Beyond the Black and the Halo Effect around Australia in, just in November. And I was working really hard every day on Jenny, the singer of Beyond the Black, to get to, to do a shoey. But, you know, I couldn't make it happen, unfortunately. Some people are just shy. Yeah, some people are, yeah. Is there is there a particular vessel that was like more gross, like the, the a boot that just was ra like raggedy and you're just like, ah, you know what? F I always think the, the most gross one is, um, is the Majestic Beast, our guitar player, his old boot. He would do the shoey every night on stage in the shoey off and um, his boot, it was starting to have a flappy lip and it'd just be <laughs> running down the front until you get it going out the back <laughs> do, you, do you have any advice this is a final question for him do you have any advice for someone that has never done one before uh that that's like okay let me just give this a try i think it's all about the attitude you know that you have to ask yourself who's having more fun the man drinking out of his shoe or the man drinking out of a cup or the woman so you know don't overthink it and just realize that hell yeah man i'm drinking out of my shoe that's a party that is absolutely a party. You said you have you guys have a lot of a lot of new material written. Is there is there a rough timetable for the fourth album, or or like are we thinking summertime, fall, uh, six yeah, eight months away? Like, you know, I would like to see it probably come out at the end of next year. We were pushing to get it out faster, but it's just like with all life happening, and you know, with Lager Sign, we've always been in this kind of delicate balance between like trying to push to get things out. And then sometimes wishing that we'd actually taken our time a bit more and um, and done it like really well and felt really prepared for like what it is we want to release, especially in terms of like not just, you know, getting a song out there, but making a really great campaign involving our fans, being able to take the music on the road. So we have kind of reached a bit of a maybe more mature outlook of saying like, let's get this right this time and do something really amazing that we're proud of. So it's like, you know, there's so many songs. I reckon we got like 20 of them uh, that, and they won't all be on the album. And I think some of them are great. Some of them like have great bits and we're just like in the past, we might've said, okay, those are the songs let's record them. But now we're like really working and we have a producer we're working with on this album. And um, is it a different producer to... than in the past? Yeah, it's actually an American guy, Chris Kelly. Um, Chris Kelly? Amazing yeah, amazing guitar player. Um, wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Chris Kelly of Ice Nine Kills and Once in Baby Metal? Ah, uh, that's the Chris. Oh, that's awesome, dude. It's going to be so good. Now I'm extra yep. hype for the album. Dude, that is amazing. Yeah. And Chris has been legendary to work with so far on the one song we've done together. Um, he brings such awesome energy and enthusiasm to his work and is a monster guitarist. So we're kind of like, I guess, you know, churning, churning these songs and churning them and trying to just get them better and better and better to get just this really, really great release. So I hope that all of our crew can be nice and patient with us, but we think it's going to be worth the wait uh, to get it to where we want it to be. Did you reach out to him or did you guys, did he come over there for, I know he has the uh, Galactic Empire that he used to do also. Like, how did you link up with Chris originally? Yeah, actually, it was through Galactic Empire uh, and just like a mutual friend. And he was in the country uh, and they said, hey, I think you should, Joel, uh, you should meet Chris. Uh, so we sat down and just kind of got talking. And then I immediately was just like blown away by just like his energy and passion for music. Um and we we're like, let's give this a go. So yeah, we went and did the one song together. We actually sent the captain and Majestic Beast went over to Japan to work with Chris on a song. Um, and because that's where he was at the time. Yeah. So yeah, I think this song, it's sounding absolutely epic. It sounds awesome. So I'm just really excited to kind of go on that journey. I feel like we've got the album. Like I said, it's like where it's at now. I feel like traditionally we probably would have gone and recorded it, but now we're like pulling the gears up and saying like, hey, we think this can still be even better than it is. Um, so I'm really pumped to see that come to life. 
I imagine this project is will like really excite him too because it seems like something that as someone that's kind of dabbled in a lot of things, he's not dabbled in pirate pirate music before. So I feel like this would like really like you said when you talked to him, he was really excited and energetic about it. It was like that, yeah, and he was totally like getting like you know what's a pirate going to be like and what's the energy of the music going to be like. So yeah, no, it's uh it's already feeling really good working together. That's awesome. I've, last time we chatted, I don't think I asked you if if you can recall the worst gig Loggerside ever played. And I'm what I, by that I mean like everything went wrong, maybe too much rum before going on stage. Do you recall like things get unplugged, you can't hear something? Everyone has the worst gig ever. There's a few worst gigs ever here, and I'm actually really blessed that mine's been immortalized on YouTube. Okay. Um, <laughs> in Switzerland. I'll send you the link of it. This was um. This was when I was 21 on my first ever tour uh, overseas. And um, we, let me see if I can find it while I'm talking to you. So old now, that video. So anyway, we were pumped as hell. We were babies back then. And we were like blown away by just the beauty of the Swiss scenery. Holy shit, it looked amazing. And it was just this perfect blue day. We arrived at the venue. I don't know why. It must have been a short drive. So we arrived there really early. And we were there hours early. And so we decided to have a game of um, of Centurion, which is where you do the 100 shots in 100 minutes of like a, a punch or a beer or something like this. Not like spirits, um, but you just keep shooting that punch. Um, and it's really tough. Like it sounds easy because you're thinking, oh, beer, it's not that strong, but it's so filling. There's 100 of them. Yeah, it's a lot of beer. And, you know, we have like a little uh, soundtrack that we do it to and everything. So we were doing that and, you know, we just got absolutely maggot. And then <laughs> I was so wasted that the video, I, I couldn't get my costume on. I play my guitar, but I've got to stand and play it on a, a music stand. And it literally sounds like I'm playing it with my face. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember really well being on stage and being like, jumps, focus. You're trying to play here. And I was trying to play really well, but it sounds like it was bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. And it's on so, YouTube. Yeah, it's on YouTube. Let's see if I can find it. So that was probably my worst gig ever. That's a fair few years ago now. That was with Aosom in 2013, I think. So I feel like it's only gone up from there. Hell yeah. <laughs> we have uh, we have a worst joke you've heard all day. What is the fav- What is the favorite part of a song for a pirate? Dar, it's the hook, laddie. It's the hook. <laughs> anyway. My friend, see, and I'm trying to work it out. I love it. It's a hook. That is my favorite part of the song, though, the hook. Do you, do you anticipate uh, when you guys work with Chris and bringing any of your friends along to, to for features? Yeah, totally. I think that that's something I'm really pumped to explore. I think that, you know, especially something like Lagerstein now, it's got a reasonably well-established kind of world and everything. So I feel like there's a lot of space now for bringing in people for these unique features and playing their character or them in that world and featuring in the songs and telling some, you know, really fun stories and getting to use a little bit of like, you know, the different texture of their voice or whatever it is. Hell yeah. I love the, like when all the live footage I've seen, I love the fact that the captain has like an actual sailboat wheel and like you guys really take it seriously it is there is there ever times when venues don't want all this extra stuff like uh, as far as like the look of the stage but by the time you go on to play and does it take do bands get frustrated like let's say you're opening for somebody on on a on a night like a bigger band do they get frustrated how much time it takes for you to like organize the stage setup there's definitely a kind of give and take to it you know like there's a difference between what we'll do for our headlining show versus if we're like a lower down on the bill um like say on this last run that we just did uh supporting the halo effect we didn't bring quite as much stuff and we sit there in the in the hq and we ask ourselves like what are the essential pieces to uh you know make the pirate ship the largest line ship be it which is like it's the wheel but, or it's the beer bongs or something. So, you know, we scale it up and down essentially uh, as needed. And the great thing about Lager Sign, there's seven of us. So, and we always have a couple of crew of us. So we're like a little army. Uh, we can power it on and off quite quick. And we've done it so much now that we're quite good at it. Hell yeah. 
Uh, this Since this was a follow-up interview, it's a little bit of a shorter one, but is there anything that you wanted to discuss, maybe, or plug or promote that we didn't get a chance to discuss? Hmm. I mean, not so much. Like, I guess for the fans, is to say, you know, thanks everyone who came out and supported us on the road, on the last run, and that we are really pumped to be, I guess, taking a little bit of a step back to do a really good launch and do some big things. You know, we still have this vision to get back out on the road. We want to play overseas a lot. We want to be on the road playing shows for people. Um, and we're just really excited to just nail this album and make something that we feel like is the really pinnacle of our career so far. So I'm excited to go on that journey. And, you know, we're still around, still write to us, but we're going to be in that studio demoing, working on songs, bringing it to life for the crew. Are are you guys signed or or are you uh, if a label ever approached would you would you listen or is it kind of you you enjoy the independency? Yeah, we're independent at the moment. I mean, I think if the right partner came along, we would be happy to at least explore what that could look like. Um, but you know, at the moment, I think the journey has really been building our own little sphere uh, where we're just operating in that space. It's a kind of like. You know, we have such a great dedicated fan base and they're happy to support us. So, but, you know, like the music industry, it's really, it's a relationships game. And as you kind of want to move up in it, you need to have those really great allies. So I think that that's definitely something we'll probably explore as we come closer. And that's part of why it's like we want to take our time and have this thing in our pocket and then be able to talk about what's a great way to release this, what's a great way to get it to everybody, instead of just being like, oh, man, it's been so long, we've got to get it out, we've got to get it out, and giving into that energy. You're smart, bro. Can we can we end can we end on a, a boozy note and do one more, one more thongy slash slash shooey, if that's okay with you? Dude, I think Please. I think personally the Chris Kelly effect is going to absolutely catapult you guys. I, I don't know if the label is the answer, but I, I feel like everything's gonna fall into place the way it's supposed to work out. And we and we love you, we love your band, bro. Oh, thank you so much. Legend BJ. Cheers, sir. Feeling mine off. Right. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Junks of Lagerstein! Hell yeah! Oh, boy. I know it's early over there. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for doing this follow-up, man. You're most welcome anytime. And I think you've got the captain coming on in January, right? Uh, that is, I don't have that written down, but I would love to. Oh, well, he's keen. The Majestic Beast was saying that in our chat. Okay, so, okay. Anyway, I'll, I'll send him in your direction. Yeah, you message me and we'll set that up for sure. That'll be fun. He's got a, he's got a big boot. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll, I'll get something bigger for that one. I'll do something yeah, special. Yeah, like a tolly or something. Yeah, I'll get I'll get a 40 for that for that particular one, a 40-ounce beer. So I'm, I'm good to go multiple times. Hell yeah. Legend. Thanks, BJ. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers, Chunks. I appreciate you.